we are bringing in up to 100 people over the course of a few hours next Wednesday afternoon from some of the biggest companies in Australia. Um, people who are in some cases specifically interested in these startups or work in that field through to others who are just part of the program as major backers and want to see results. I'm going to be there. I am going to have some sort of screen with my website. Any more than that, I just don't know right now. There's so much in terms of the um, tech side of stuff for me, for the device development, because mine's not just software, but device. What we're putting together is really big. There are so many elements to pull this off. Will we do it by next week? I don't know. Just before demo day, there is a consistent pattern that there will be founders who will uh, latch on to this event as a key milestone that they have to hit. And therefore, as they prepare for it, they start to um, either unravel or it gives them laser-like focus. You know when it's not going well. And then on top of that, you get the feedback and it's like, I don't want to hear it. It's good that we're doing this because it makes you more re is that we look for resilient in a way. Who want to come on board with us to create a better service delivery and engagement for people to go solar? No. Thank you. I'm curious like what was going on in your mind because you were, um, you were really slow in your delivery. I was just seeing you trying to communicate keyword, this word, and then that word. What mm. was going on in your mind? I don't know. If I think back 12 weeks ago, let alone to boot camp, you were creating a startup in the solar space. The rest was a mystery. Mm. And yet you're still arriving at demo day in just 12 weeks going, mm. this is the answer we're running with. Here's a product. Let me show you how it works. Yeah. Holy crap. It That's is amazing. Good. It is good. Yeah. No one's walking in here expecting the functionality yeah. of a 10 year old company. Yeah. This is a 12 week old company you guys are presenting. So it sounds like it's feasible. It's feasible. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So last week we launched Noli. Our first release is the swiping for solar basically feature or product. So the user profile part of it has gone live. We're currently working through the um, supplier side of things and the matching side of things and that will go live beginning next week. I'm super grateful because when I started in bootcamp and then afterwards I didn't have anything. I just had an idea, literally an idea. And now we went in a direction. It might not be the exact direction that where my company will be in a year or whatever, but at least there's something and people are responding to it. How are you feeling? Okay. Yeah. It's all very normal at, at this part. Yeah. Yeah. It's like half panic and then exhilaration and depression and then back to panic. It's more that sense of, okay, is this good enough? Where do I want it to be? How do I get there? Mm -hmm. How do I make those decisions? How do I get the feedback? Mm -hmm. How do I not come across as a failure or somebody that launched something that's not interesting? So we will definitely have Uncle Ron for customer demo day and we should have then the algorithm which is actually which helps us understand the mood of the organisation. So the proof of concept will be with um, the person I've been working with at ANZ who's Lee Gibson who's great and she is one of the chapter leads in the digital engineering team. She's got about 220 in her team so she's going to put it into that team. So we've been building Uncle Ron, which is our wind bot, we're just doing a final test and then hopefully we're in a position that we can yeah, yeah, yeah. put it into ANZ in the next couple of days. I'll just type something. So. We're okay. very excited, very proud. So oh, I'm actually just going to have my computer over to you and let you have a play. Okay, all right. Excellent. I like that he keeps secrets. How are we feeling right now? Oh. I've got it. Thanks for sharing. How do you feel now? Uh, I feel alright. Thanks for sharing. That's cool. That's it. What do you think? How do you feel about it? Any changes? Anything you'd like to see differently? Um, I like it. It's simple. 
Um, and, and that's great for a first stage product. It would be nice for Ron to, to identify and ask me how I feel about something or to maybe have a little bit more smarts to, to yeah, yeah. engage me in conversation. So I thought it was a great meeting. It was good feedback. It means we're going to have to tweak a few things, which I'm okay with because I'd rather get a better outcome up front. What I wasn't expecting was someone that would actually co-create on the journey with me. And so Lee, who I was very, very lucky to meet very early on and her and I, I think just clicked, she has been really instrumental in helping me develop some of my thinking. Um, and she even said to me last week, you know, we've got to think about how we make your product in a way that people can't replicate it. Oh yeah, of course. I never thought of that. Um, today, we're going to take a big, deep breath in. Oh, I am, I am. And we're going to go in and do some alpha site testing. And so what we're going to do today is do a very basic version of the prototype and I'm going to be running some of the games that we will have automatically be able to play on the app. So this is the device that the kids will walk around with. That little talkie has to go and kiss the other little talkie. Oh, the other one. Another one? Yeah. I found it. That's it. You got the bathroom. Well done. Yeah. yeah, that's great. Can you find Mummy? Mum. <laughs> that's your mum. Hearing the, the teachers say just before that worked well, or saying, I don't hear that child talk very much and they just talked. I saw how assertive Grace got in there around knowing her language and her environment. And to me, like as a mum, first of all, that was so important because a year ago, you know, she didn't have that confidence around language. When a child goes into preschool or is in play group, uh, and they're unable to speak and participate in conversation with other children around them, they're, they're missing being involved in their social world. It might make them feel anxious, you might see them become shy. Tantrums and meltdowns and screaming on the floor because they can't communicate that that child took my toy. It affects their social life and their, and their development of their personality. It's absolutely a love letter to my daughter. I didn't sleep for months making this product for her. <laughs> I have been really conscious of making sure that she doesn't look back too much and know that she was struggling. And what I want to stay with her is the feeling of empowerment. I want Grace to grow up and to not need me. And I created the tool so that she could learn the way to do it herself. And that's the gift that I give to her. Uh, you can build something, but if you don't actually test it with the people who are able to, or who should be using it, you don't really know how that interaction will go. Those assumptions need to be validated, and that's what you do with user testing. So that's the home page. So this is if I was, so I just end up on, now, how do you pronounce it? Noli? Noli? Noli, yes. Do you feel triggered in any way to also add your address? No. I really appreciated every feedback he gave. Like, oh, this button should be purple instead of green, or, you know, this should be bigger or larger, but also in terms of the broader uh, concept. There are a lot of priorities that you have for a day like this. The number one thing is the opportunity for founders to showcase how far they've come, where their product is at, and to access opportunities off the back of that. For us, it's really important that we're showcasing what can be achieved in a program like this for the cohort as a whole, but also for the individuals. And, and that's exciting and yeah, there's a little bit of pressure around that, I guess, but it's really healthy.